She was discovered with a deformed skull, broken teeth, and almost unrecognizable only five days before her Lobola date. This was obviously a crime of passion, but what had happened? Our story begins in Kaudra Park, a suburb in the second largest city of Zimbabwe, Bulawayo. This is Hilary Notandongube, a 26-year-old woman who worked as a cashier at a popular fast food restaurant in Bulawayo. This type of job was beneath her because she had been an educated, intelligent girl. She had gone to Asha Girls School where she did her Form 1 to Form 6 and did sciences, maths, physics, and biology. I'm sure we can all agree that these are not exactly easy subjects. After excelling in her A-levels, she then proceeded to NAST where she pursued a degree in operations management and statistics. So it was only because of the frustrating Zimbabwean job market that forced her to accept a job as a cashier at a fast food restaurant. It was at this workplace where she met her boyfriend, Ovias Velani Sibanda, who was also 26 years of age. They were so visibly in love and head over heels for one another and everyone in their workplace knew that they were a couple. They dated for a number of months and in October 2023, she discovered that she was pregnant. Ovias was very excited when he heard this and he could not wait to become a father. He was so committed to doing the right thing that he immediately entered into Lobola negotiations with her family. The couple seemed to be enjoying their very last days as single people as their whole family was expectant of their Lobola date which was the 11th of February in 2024. The date had been pushed to February from December because Hilary's father was working in South Africa and could only return to Zimbabwe in February. Hilary kept staying with her mom and her family in Cowdery Park while her boyfriend Ovias kept staying at his house in Emma Kandeni. On the 5th of February 2024, they knocked off work at the same time at around 5 p.m. He then asked her to accompany him to his house in Emma Kandeni and then they would proceed to her home in Cowdery Park. When they got to his house, it is unclear what happened but he took a metal bar in his house and stuck her multiple times until she lost consciousness. He attacked her so viciously that her skull was literally deformed and her teeth were broken and there was blood everywhere on the bed, on the carpet, on the wardrobe. When he saw that there was literally no life left in her, he then called his parents and told them exactly what he had done. After telling his parents, he proceeded to the police station where he handed himself over and told them the crime that he had committed. His parents then called her parents to tell them exactly what had happened and they rushed to the police station where they found him already in cuffs. Her mother claimed that she had promised to come home straight after work to help her with laundry and when she did not show up in town she was a bit worried but could not get a hold of her. She had not confided in her mother that she would pass by his house which was a bit strange. When he was questioned by the police about the motive he claimed that he had just discovered that she was in contact with a man named Gift. This man had been texting and calling her and when he asked her about Gift she claimed that he was her real baby daddy. He went on to say that he had lost his temper and attacked her with a metal bar until she died. This was very difficult to believe because her apps had been cleared and there was no contact named gift in her contact list. Her family also claimed that they had just recently discovered that he was extremely possessive and abusive towards Hillary. Apparently, she had been hiding his emotional and physical abuse for months. Her little sister also claimed that she had used hot water on Hillary's bruises but she had no idea where they had come from. She started suspecting that these had been inflicted by obvious. Her family believed that this murder was premeditated and that he had no intention to marry her from the beginning. The neighbors also reported that when Hillary and Ovius arrived at his Emma Kandeni home on that fateful day, he had turned up the volume of the television and the radio, which could further mean that he had planned to attack her and did not want anyone hearing her cries for help. Her father, who was already preparing to come to Zimbabwe for Lobola negotiations, ended up preparing to come for a funeral. Ovius was denied bail and was remanded at Kami Remand Prison until trial. Since this is a 2024 case, it is yet to go on trial, but because he is the one that handed himself over to the police and admitted his crime, it is now up to the prosecutors to prove whether he intended to kill her or he killed her in a fit of rage. We can only know what happened that night when the trial commences, but as for now, we can only hope for justice for Hillary. May her soul continue to rest in eternal peace. I always remind you that I'm a lazy person, but I try to post four times a week to assist me please subscribe like share comment whatever that is in your capacity and it will really help me reach more people ciao